Field inspection of expansion joints, anchored and guided expansion joints, start with the anchors and the guides. Go right to the anchors. Make sure those are intact. They're seeing a lot of pressure thrust and it could get worn down. Next, check out the guides and the spider guide. Make sure that that is properly set and it is not overshot where it's supposed to be. And then it'll pull back and it could damage the outer casing. And finally, we get to the expansion joint. First, look at the cover. Make sure that it's in place and it hasn't been damaged in any way because that can in turn damage the bellows. When you get that cover off, look at the bellows. See if it's got any type of distortion. Bellows can squirm for a couple of reasons. Overpressurization, maybe torque. But if it is distorted, you need to mark that for replacement. Next, check for any dents in the bellows. Those are going to decrease the cycle. The shallow ones, not so much. The sharp ones, definitely. Check for any signs of discoloration to indicate that the bellows is leaking. If you don't see any sign of uh, discoloration, don't waste your time doing a liquid penetrant exam. You'll never pick up that crack. The reason is because it starts from the inside, happens so fast, you'll never catch it. Weld splatter will also cause early fatigue. It needs to be correctly removed. Remember to get those covers back on properly. After that, you're good to go. Any questions, give us a call.